Hi, I'm John, and this is an update of what's been going on recently. And I'll be talking uh, also about how commands work in the Lockstep framework. So let me just quickly connect to the server. All right, so here's nothing much, um, just something that uh, I implemented in my spare time. And it's, it's not much, so I'm just going to include it in this video. It's uh, just a transform system for dphysics that attach that can attach objects and then uh, they they uh, stay in the same relative rotation and position as the parent. Um, up next, I want to talk about the UI. So I use C input with a few modifications to register input, and I've added a layer on top of C input that registers virtual inputs. What that mean means is um, I can pretty much press a key down, imitate a player pressing key down by um, calling a method virtual press key down or something. The, how the input ties into commands is that every single unit, like this big guy right here, uh, even these little guys, um, they, they have an ability. And each ability has an abstract property that returns the input needed for the ability to be called. So like the ability attack would have the input underscore a. Uh, if C input detects this key, a command is constructed from the ability, and uh, the command's identification is the the ability's input hash code. Continuing with the example of uh, the attack ability, so th this uh, command gets constructed, and then um, the hash code of its input is saved into the command. Then it gets serialized and sent through the network and reconstructed. I, I don't want to describe that because that gets very technical and uh, sp pretty, pretty specific. Um, but the main thing is the command gets serialized and then sent over and then reconstructed. So you have the same thing on the other side. Um, and when the command reaches the other side, all you have are this, this collection of data, positions, or maybe a target, and uh, unit selection. But you don't know which units to execute it on, except that's why the input hash code was included. Uh, a, a loop goes through and uh, tells, checks, if, uh, checks every single unit in the selection uh, for whether or not the unit, one of his abilities, has the same input. If it does, then that means that the the user, the player, wanted to call that ability um, if he selected it and uh, pressed the input of that ability. Now, I could have also used the ability name instead of the input uh, as the identification for the ability, but this would mean that uh, a unit selection of multiple units, for example, um, like a bird and uh, a squirrel. If they were called, um, if they were told to move, the bird might have an ability called fly, and the squirrel would have an ability called run, and I would have to send two commands or have only uh, one type of unit. For example, the squirrel execute run, but the bird wouldn't execute uh, fly. So in summary, a command is a container of data, and abilities generate commands based on the player input they take. And when a command gets serialized and reconstructed on the other side, uh, the system checks every single unit in the selection if it has an ability with the same input. And if it does, then that ability is executed uh, from the command. So thanks for watching and happy developing.